Got the ready to race sign up on your screens. About to go green light racing here for race number two of qualifying number one. And Ovenden looked like he may have got a little bit of an extra push there, a little bit of an extra start. And I tell you what, it's a fantastic start from Godfrey. Terrible day yesterday, but actually he's only going to filter in into second position. Thorne then will take P1. And we know what he's like once he gets into the front here. And, uh, well, can he potentially put on an absolute show here, put on the afterburners, potentially get a quicker time and take Q1. Vitols and indeed, uh, who else has gone into the Joker here? Uh, Dom Flitney are into the Joker, so those two are done and watch out for Vitols. He did this yesterday in the final, managed to go out and win the race with an incredible showing and he is superb down in towards uh, the paddock bend as well. So hopefully we're going to get a lovely camera shot of that throughout the day, but I've never seen someone go through paddock bend like he does. Uh, into the Joker then does indeed come Jack Thorne. Is he going to have done enough here to be ahead of Vitols? Vitols then on the right-hand side of your screen. They're almost side by side here. Vitols is not going to be ahead of him, so Jack Thorne's done the job here. He is up ahead, so Vitols wants to win Q1. He's going to have to do it by making an overtake. Toe Hill will be watching and thinking, this is great news for me. They probably will end up battling for position here. So we're on the uh, near the end of lap number two, and it is actually Thorn who has indeed got the jump here on Vitols. Yesterday's winner, round six winner, Vitols down then in towards Paddock Bend. We will come. We're going to see them sweep through this right hander. Vitols gets the car completely sideways through there. It's intentional, it's quick, it's beautiful to watch as they come across the start finish line with that exceptional drone cam here. Then again, we're on lap number uh, three now of four. And Vitols does look quick right then up the rear of Jack Thorne. Thorne is going to see that car right in his rear view mirror. The pressure is well and truly on through the devil's elbow there. Thorne maybe going in a little bit deep. Uh, but ultimately, he may have gained a little bit of time there. Godfrey then, just up the road there in the Fiesta. We just saw it in the distance with that blue patching as delivery. Not sure he's quite as far ahead as he needs to be to indeed come out in the lead of this race. No, definitely not. Down Paddock Bend we come, then Ovenden currently in fourth position, and then we've got Dom Flitney at the back. Then we come towards the end of the, well, the end of the race. One lap to go through that final chicane we come. Vitols, can he potentially make a move for the lead? Godfrey then, you can see, coming through that chicane on the power early, over the jump he will come. It's not quite going to work out, so it is indeed going to be Thorne versus uh, Vitols for the race victory here. But it's all about the clock in qualifying. It's all about how fast they indeed did this race it was a 257 894 though for the first qualifying race and are we going to see it quicker in race number two a little bit of a mistake there by thorn runs a little bit wide as you can see godfrey did indeed get up into that top three so not the worst day in the office but we come up towards the final couple of corners then vittles has actually dropped off the pace over the last lap or so it is going to be thorn once again as he did yesterday in qualifying one he picks up the victory here it's going to be second then for vittles it's going to be third for godfrey ovenden in fourth and then Dom Flitney comes across the line in fifth position waiting for clarification of the time and oh wow it is by a hundredth of a second but Thorne is actually not going to be as quick as Toehill here is it confirmed it is going to be by one hundredth of a second so it looks like Thorne uh, it looks like Toehill is going to take Q1 race one